our boy Nas Daily. He hit me up. He's like, yo, dude, I'm in New York. You in town? I'm having this like creator dinner, like six to eight people, just like super low key. You want to come? Let's hit it up. Theme for this one is we're all going to share our most controversial hot take that you'd never share in public. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. You're going to come on here and name everyone and what they said. The first guy's like. Oh, oh, dude. oh, oh. Give it to yourself, dude. Next person starts talking about like. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. But pretty popular. Right. And I'm like, I think that women. Welcome to the Smart Nonsense Podcast, where we talk about smart nonsense. Yes, yes. Cue back. the applause. Cue the applause. March, March fourth, twenty twenty four. These aren't getting any easier. They don't make <laughs> any more sense. But that's fine. We, we should get back into making our own sound effects. That was those are sick. Well, in the early days of the pod, you had a, a soundboard. You actually had a soundboard. <laughs> and, I mean, you were so stoked about this podcast. <laughs> You would, you had it all. You had it all figured out. I remember there'd be uh, like a. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> <laughs> and the guest Dude. would come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the royal trumpet, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Didn't mean that to was, dude. Dirty, <laughs> dirty cack in the hook. I didn't expect the royal trumpet this early in the pod. <laughs> um, no, that's. Dude, that's when everything was riding in the pod. Like, I quit my job. <laughs> dude, the best I could do was a trumpet, dude. That was, that was dude. all four years of an Ivy League education, and it's like, well, I I'm forgot it do was a all, trumpet a day. I forgot it was all, quote, riding on the pod. <laughs> it um, was, dude. I, you that was my way out. Down. I know. I was like you 25 little, bucks an episode. Tim I'll Ferriss figure it dream out settings. Months. You set your entire life's, you know, the, the dreamscape of your life, and it was like eight dollars a day to uh, attain. And then Dude. you worked back for backward from there and outsourced the podcast. It was beautiful. I will tell you, <sighs> um, did we hit eight dollars a day? No, <laughs> but I eight hundred. We actually nail eight hundred dollars a day uh, times thirty. That's about twenty four grand, right? Um, What's the math we're doing? We're doing how much we spend on content. We thought it'd be eight dollars a day. It's actually eight hundred. Um, so Today, off by a couple right sig figs. Yeah, we spend like twenty five grand a month on content. Did let it rip. Um, Good thing we got this you said, figured out. Right, and no trumpet, which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Two extra sig figs and no trumpet. Um, but we might have that soon because we're dialing it in. Um, Here's the problem. Yeah. I got a problem actually. Uh, after the hook, uh, if it's not already abundantly clear, I've got the giggly goo. It's only it's only three thirty uh, in the afternoon, and I've right. got the giggly goo, which is a state you you get to when you're somewhere between like lucid and wait, is lucid a dream state? Yeah, is or is lucid well, a twenty uh, an awake dream. state? <laughs> no, oh. that's well. It's it's if if a dream if it's a lucid dream, dreams sleeping, so it's got to be awake, right? It's probably. I feel like, like you say I'm lucid, like I'm I'm right here, and isn't I'm it like I'm super clear, dialed in? Yeah, I'm lucid. Yeah, so and what I'm trying to say dreaming. is the opposite. Oh. What, yeah, what I'm trying to say is the opposite. I'm the opposite you gotta, of lucid, and that's because my body fuck. thinks it's somewhere in Paris, France. I don't know why. That's this not a bad place ago. to be. Well, it's tough when you wake up and you're in Chicago, but I mean, that that's what happens, dude. When you travel, um, your whole life, dude, my dad literally just, I just, I went to the bathroom, checking my phone. I get a message from my dad. It's a WhatsApp. It's a video of him in Brazil with like Claudia's whole Brazilian family. It's his like new wife, I guess. Uh, it's his wife, but they did like a marriage ceremony. And he's like, damn, really wish you were here. And I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. It's Did just him invite? surrounded by like 30. Yeah, he invited. I kind of forgot it was a thing. He's like, you should come to Brazil. And like in his list of items, I think it was like, hey, we're going to get married. Um, <laughs> but fuck, dude. 
huh, it doesn't go to but his I dad's But I just way. slept in, dude. Um, <laughs> so that's tough. That's kind of tough. It, the video was really nice. I f- well, I actually, what I'll say is I like to go, I like to go south. I like to go south because you're on the mm. same time zone, roughly. Oh, right. Then I think Brazil's maybe then Eastern you can lucid one. dream. Yeah, yeah. Like normal. I'm uh, I'm so out of whack. I'm using caffeine to try and get out of it, and now I'm just addicted to more caffeine. So now I have a drug issue. Right. And now, now I have now I'm having withdrawal symptoms, and I, I mean, can't get anything done. Yeah, I guess you could have just sucked it up for a couple of days, but now we're going to Banff, so you kind of... Well, here's it. so here's the other problem with Paris, France. Big coffee drinking culture. So did I get addicted to coffee oh. over there? Yes, I did. Nice. Am I waking up at four, 3, 4 a.m. with uh, excruciating headaches now because it's like noon there? Yes, I am. Well, yes, I am. Hmm. Here's so one thing fine. I'll tell you, dude. Yeah. Um, Because I this weekend, dude, it was like fucking gorgeous out. It, Dude, I don't know what... It's like... March hits and it's like 70 degrees out and sunny and everyone was sunbit. It was magical. Groundhog. But I, groundhog. yeah, I was a Sorry, groundhog. Dude. It was just me with some tight little short shorts and that's it, dude. Also <laughs> other stuff, but we'll keep that. Um, but locking, but key. um, where were we? Um, oh, I was listening to Lindy's book. Lindy removed his book from Amazon, but I found some YouTuber that just fucking read the book out loud. <laughs> so I, it was like a really obscure video with like, they each have like, I don't know, less than a hundred, like 40 views. And I just listened to the whole audio book. Um, dude, it's, and he, he, dude, he like mess up and stuff because it's not legit, but it was, it was fine. Point is, um, coffee, it's not super Lindy, like deep Lindy as in like thousands of years old, but it's like, it's like 500 Very years old lindy. or something. So it's, it's, yeah. On the spectrum of Lindy, it's pretty good. Like you're probably not going to die because it's been uh, tested pretty well. So you're good. You'd be better off with tea. That's more Lindy if you want to get your hit of caffeine. But we'll take what we can get. Um, oh, first. oh, whoa, whoa, dirty cac. So thinking about Lindy, um, what I was going to say is these things are all, they're hedonic, right? Which made me think. Oh, of heat he, on watch out for heat on, dude. Yeah, he'll come out out of nowhere. <laughs> He came out out of nowhere. See, the problem is I went down to tea because I was having this issue before, but because of heat on, because of the hedonic treadmill or uh, tolerance, whatever whatever it is, um, you get to a point where the thing stops working. I could Ugh. drink four cups of tea a day and it's just, it's, yeah. you, you need harder stuff. Uh, so then I got back into coffee. Then I went to Paris, France, and they have like an espresso every hour, and I was kind of doing that. Oh, wow. Yeah, here I am. You were wired. Um, that's cool. I, it'd be nice if you could do the culture, like the coffee cafe outside culture without Great culture getting addicted. Um, Argentina had that culture similarly. Like I remember just walking home and it was like almost 1am and there were just a bunch of old people at this cafe just hanging out, like having, having some drinks. It's like a Tuesday. And I was like, dude, that's sick. Um, granted they have the worst economy in Latin America. <laughs> Like they were like the fourth richest country in the world a hundred years ago and really dropped dude, off. Come but see, come saw. Come see, didn't come we, saw, dude. Didn't we talk about the changing world order last episode? <laughs> that, <laughs> dude, that sounds like something we totally butchered too. I mean, I know you brought it up, um, but like, <laughs> Bring I feel like smart in nonsense. Complete is, wrong context. <laughs> right, right. Totally just mess up like a, a good concept. Like Lindy, I'm probably butchering. Um, Fuck, do you want do you want my fod, dude? What I did this weekend? Yeah, and you've then been also, you've been wired. Yeah. Yeah. Cause this is a diary, but it's kind well, of a weekend, fun diary. Yeah, my weekend was um just go to bed at eight thirty and wake up with the excruciating headache at about four thirty. So wow. that's uh well, that's, that's about it. All right. Well, I mean I'm kinda sick, so fucking No, give me your weekend. Come see, come come um well Beautiful I out. woke up. I, it was beautiful out. short shorts Dude. yeah i played cards with our friend ice just me and him hanging out um, war you play war two person war. <laughs> no dude we play whist which is a really good game just heads up whist and it's sick it was actually really fun i like it better than normal whist to be honest um so did that but what did i get um day before i got a dm from an og not fan of the pod, but topic of the pod, uh, our boy Nas Daily. 
AK uh, Nasir. He, he, he hit me up. He's like, yo, dude, I'm in New York. You in town? I'm like, that's my boy. I'm like, where the fuck you think I am? Um, so I'm please. here. <laughs> well, yeah, for the most part, because family. Oh, family. <laughs> I, didn't um, mean to, I didn't mean to prod. <laughs> Dude, no, dude, that was the softest prod, and I just fucking twisted it. My bad. Um, so he's like, "You're in New York." I'm like, "I'm in New York." And then he's like, "All right, awesome. I'm having this like creator dinner. Like, I don't know, six to eight people, just like super low key. You want to come?" I'm like, "Your boy's got nothing. Saturday's the one day off. No hockey. Let's hit it up." Dude, the so- Sabbath. Look at you. <laughs> is that what Saturday is? The Sabbath? The yeah, Sunday. no work. One day off. Oh. I know. I didn't even bring my laptop home this weekend, which is sick. Um, So go to this dinner and kind of the dinner. It's like, I mean, Nasir, he went to Harvard. He's a smart dude. So he like brought like some uh, smart Harvard guy. There's uh, this other like Columbia business school, like super like, like big creators. Like I'm like, like one of the topics of discussion was like, um, I don't know. Would you stop creating for $10 million? And I'm like, dude, I stopped creating for like negative $10 million. Like, <laughs> like I, d- I don't actually know if I like creating that could just be cope. I don't really know. But, um, but big creators there. And it, it basically was like three chicks, five dudes, all just hanging out jamming. But unlike most dinners, which this is what I liked, uh, Nasari, he's like, hey, most most things are boring. Like, I don't want this to be boring. Like, let's talk about some juicy shit. Uh, I like to have a theme. Theme for this one is we're all going to share our most controversial hot take that you'd never share in public. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> don't mind if I do. <laughs> you, you in my side of the court now. Yeah, like, uh, I, I was going to share these for free. Right, didn't, have to, right. didn't have to prompt me. Dude. Yeah, it's like when you accidentally study for a pop quiz. Um, so it was really <laughs> sick. <laughs> um, so everyone's kind of like slow to start. And I don't want to like jump because, uh, you know, I got, dude, I, love, I could rattle off 15. Dude, I know. Well, I love that you're also going to come on here. This was, The prompt was <laughs> say something you would never say in the real world. You're going to come on here and name everyone and what they said. <laughs> dude, yeah, I was at the end of mine. I, I said Let's like, hey, it. by the way, like. I, I'm pretty sure I've shared this or I will share this on the podcast. So like, it's not, I have no secrets, um, but it starts going around the horn and I'm like deep in the horn. You don't want to go first when you get something juicy. So I'm just like, keep it in my, my calm self. And um, so one guy goes, dude, and it's just like, the first guy's like, I think in the future, uh, people will like live in VR. And oh, fucking, oh, whoa, oh, keep it to yourself, dude. That's dude, great. I mean, specifically, opinion. <laughs> he said specifically, it's like poor people, like people down in the dumps, will like be the first to live in VR because their life sucks. I'm like, okay, that's that's fine. Um, and Those then like the, the next happiest people, yeah, yeah. I and then Nasir is like, does anyone disagree with this? And like, no one really did, so it's kind of like a fucking. <laughs> but fine, move on to the next person. Next person starts talking about like, hey, I'm like super Jewish, um, but I think what Israel is doing is bad. And it's like, well, I don't fuck it. All right. A little little contrarian, but pretty popular. (laughs) Pretty popular. And then then, um, Nassar actually had a good one, um, but I don't want to share it. Oh, yeah, you're going to share it. I don't don't want to share it, you know. Um, It wasn't that bad. But, like, basically everyone was just throwing (laughs) softballs. And I come up to it with some big lead chew in my mouth and I'm fucking stepping up. And I'm like, all right, um, here it goes. Well, um, I think that women entering the workforce 50%. was a mistake. Oh, <laughs> oh, he did it. <laughs> he did it. And dude, I'm just I'm like my corner is like the female corner too. For some reason, I was just surrounded by him, and I was just having not a lovely anymore. conversation with him. And and these are keep in mind like ambitious, super like much more successful than either of us. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, you shouldn't be allowed to work. Um, well, not maybe not allowed. You should be allowed to work, but I think it's a mistake that you are working. Um, 
And it was one of those, what was kind of a bummer was it was so radical. Like they weren't teed up for it at all. They just kind of like just got fucking blown to bits. And they're like, no, well, I've never even don't heard that point that. of view in my life. I don't, didn't even know. Well, <laughs> didn't even know that was a view that could be pointed. I, well, <laughs> I me neither until like a week ago. Until I got into Lindy, I started radicalizing. Oh, Lindy! Which yeah. I said like, hey, this it's kind of like not very Lindy in my own mind because I literally didn't have this idea till like last Tuesday. Those are the ones but, you should share. <laughs> the, <laughs> the new ones. You, well, well, you got to we'll battle see. test them. I know. I did battle test it. Um, and they tried to, they tried to hit me back. Well, I was basically, my point is like, I think, uh, traditionally like for 10,000 years, women just took care of the family as their main occupation seemed to be going all right. They entered the workforce and now we got like, I don't know, like mental health issues and population decline, all this stuff. And then one, one of the guys, he was like, it's, it's like literally only been like 60 years that women have been allowed to like work, um, at least like male type jobs. Um, one guy was like, uh, why is it bad that population is declining and we have to like emphasize the family? I'm like, Wait, you want us all to die out? What are we doing here? Um, there, there wasn't much pushback. People didn't know how to push back. They weren't expecting it. One guy did say, he's like, well, I was just having the opposite conversation of like, everyone's going to have like these artificial wombs that they just like, so women can work more. It's like, cause it's a big burden to have kids. I'm like, well, that's, that's a fucking risky non Lindy thing. It's like, you get one little chemical imbalance in the womb wrong and it's all fucked. But basically, uh, it was fun having the hottest of the hot takes. And it was like, Dylan, you're allowed to ask out for a little bit. Granted, after, yeah, uh, it yeah, was yeah, supposed yeah. to be a safe space. But <laughs> after, no one really wanted to talk to me. But, you know. Come see, come saw. Come see, come saw. Come so see, I just voiced that saw. opinion. Did we ever tell the... Uh... I think you told the story on here about our friend's girlfriend's sister. Yeah. That happened. Yeah, on the I podcast, think right? I think I did. Okay. It's yeah. just I, I think this is, like there's, there's a reason. <laughs> Come like Nasire was like, hey, let's have a juicy hot topic theme because it's just more fun than your your average, like, oh, how's living in Singapore? Is that fun for you? Like, that's boring. Let's talk about women not being allowed to work. Uh, to clarify, Ooh. I think they should be allowed to work. I just think they'd be happier, most of them, if they didn't. But um, okay, I didn't. I don't mean to stress that that point too hard because I, I also no, no. don't know if it's true. Well, I, I think it's interesting that when asked for people's most controversial hot takes, they were still within, yeah, basically the bounds of what's acceptable to talk well, about. What was interesting, like, is, and what you're saying, I didn't even know that was a point of view. Like, I don't have, maybe I'm not Lindy, but I don't even like know of things so far outside of the, the the kind dude, of. Dude, I I could that, rattle off 15 right now, uh, but but like, what was interesting was because it's kind of it was like a very, just like PC ish crowd, um. It was like everyone was you trying to feel out like where is where are the guidelines where's the benchmark for like how hot of a take we're gonna take um and plus i i think most people are like you like they just don't have hot takes because they're like i don't know what everyone else is doing is pretty fine like it's not a big deal um but well, you spend a lot you of your time Lindy, thinking yeah you spend a lot of your time thinking about like societal structures or hot takes well it's like people when you're born today like if you're born today, you just assume like you're born with an iPhone in your hand and you're looking at a screen like that's just your norm. But it's only when you look really far back, like 10,000 years ago, that you're like, oh, today's really fucked up. Just no one realizes it because we're all born with an iPhone in our hand. It's like you got to just like check the fuck out and look back. So that's where I get all these hot takes now. It's from Lindy Man because he's like, hey, half the shit we do nowadays, it's like it's probably going to be OK. You're not going to die, but like you might get really depressed because it's like not natural for humans. Um, so a lot of that stuff. But um, people were basically looking to Nasire to like kick us off with like, here's here's how crazy we should go. Because at the start, no one wanted to like put up their hand and be the first guinea pig. So it I'm, took him going. I'm Jewish, but I'm pro-Palestine. It's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, it was like, I'm, I'm, I'm not as anti-Palestine as you might think. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I'm like, I don't even, hey, dude. I know nothing about that. But the world's your point oyster is, here. It's smart nonsense. Safe, I think it's fun. Space. Yeah. 
there was uh, I had some point about oh. safe spaces at some point. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. oh don't try and end it on me. Don't. Oh. I just got scared for a second. Um, <laughs> Starts fidgeting. <laughs> dude, the last pod. No, I'm not uh, ready. Yeah, it, it didn't get covered. But uh, like, uh, when I start feeling the pressure that you're going to shut it down, I look for my, <laughs> my little tie a bow on this thing. And dude, the last time the bow, I just tied it with my mouth, dude. It was... It was so bad. <laughs> <Made no> um, sense. <laughs> I forget what it was. No. But um, no, I think it's cool. I like I like when people I like when these topics come up because it's kind of like how I don't like uh, small talk. Well, um, but also Lindy's like, dude, small talk's there for a fucking reason. It's like people don't want to just talk about weird shit right off the bat. But like, I think it's a lot more fun if you only have a couple hours with people. It's like, hey, we did like five minutes of small talk. Let's talk about some fun shit that you normally don't talk about. It's a little taboo and it's fun. So I wish more conversations were like that, a little directed. It was nice. And he just took control of the whole thing, kind of like a Nick Gray-esque, where it was like, here's where we're going to direct this conversation. What do you have to say about your prompt? Let's do it. Uh, I don't think he he didn't want to no. go down with that shit, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> dude, no one did. It was like, no in theory, a safe space, but like, yeah, it wasn't. I, I also realized I'm like, we're kind of in like, theoretical debate land and I, like that's not a place i like to be so it just got like weird started talking about like i don't know a lot of I was, oh i had some more takeaways from that conversation though not just the hot take oh. um because it, it was like a cool creator dinner and a lot of them are like farther along than we are um so and now he names them and their their controversial <laughs> take <laughs> My, well i could put a picture up with them um there he is Oh, so one thing, one big takeaway for, for me or us is uh, Nassar was talking about, like, basically, uh, at the start of his company, like, he didn't really have a direction. He had, like, a vague idea of what he was trying to do, kind of like us, like, had a feeling, didn't really know anything tangible. And he's like, for six years, I basically tried to just figure out what is my one guiding mission statement. It's like, here is, uh, well, in his case, it's like, bring people together. You just got three words. And now every decision that he ever makes with the company just goes through that filter of like, uh, he makes t-shirts, but he's like, do I want to really become like a clothing store merch? It's like, I, I guess it could bring people together, but it's kind of like tangential. He's like, fuck it. We're not going to do that. Like instead I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about like basically things that like bring people together in real life. Cause it's a lot yes. closer to the mission. Um, Good so, his big thing, dude, I'm getting better at this. His big thing was like, if there's any advice I could give you, it's like figure out your mission statement, which none of us had, because one, everyone in the company is just going to get it. It aligns everybody. And if it doesn't align you, you're, you're out. But like everyone coming in is just like bought in completely. Um, and then again, any decision with like what product you want to make, because for us, the problem is like you could make literally anything just goes through that filter of does it bring people together or does it make learning fun or whatever we want to say for hours? But that's kind of what I want to like figure out for us. So at that stage of like, okay, let's make this thing serious. And we have a lot of decisions with what we want to build now that we don't have to work on clipped as much. Uh, so that was the, the big, like tangible takeaway for me. And actually um, it's related, but once we got, we basically spent the last two years testing all these different business models at clipped. And then we kind of circled all the way back around and landed on the exact same one we started with. And then once we did that, it it just simplified everything. Because now, so my brother runs Clipped and he's even now like, I don't want to do the one-off stuff. We're not doing that recruiter. Like anything outside of our core mm -hmm. competency is now just eliminated immediately. It, it's a non-decision. Yeah. And then you Which do the nice. thing you're supposed to be doing better. It's, it's one of the, we talk about spiraling a lot, but the nice thing with the spiral is like we've tested everything as we've gone around. So now it's like we're in the same spot as before, but now it's we're almost like more anti-fragile. Like we've tested all these other things and seen they don't work. And like, this is the more robust business model that works. Um, I guess somehow, yeah, kind of related to smart nonsense. We're like, I don't know, we'll see what we're testing, but that's, that's in a good spot. So now it's like figure out that out for smart nonsense. Um, uh oh well oh um one takeaway <laughs> one 
<laughs> That's all you need. Um, and it, well, he paid for the dinner. Too, <laughs> the one takeaway is have a mission, <laughs> which is like usually thing number one you do in business. Yeah, but it's like fake mission or something. I don't know. I, but I do want to think about it more because it does like I thought merch. I'm like, yeah, merch isn't really like on the mission. Um, so we could do it. He's like, I could sell fucking a shit ton of T-shirts, but I don't. Um, now, actually, what what they were saying was they lar- like he doesn't sell any product for less than a thousand dollars. All his stuff is like super high ticket. Um, that's that's all he focuses on. So, like he could sell a shitload of t-shirts, but he just doesn't want to. Um, then oh, one like business thing. Basically, they're all bitching about like you're not really allowed to to say what you actually think or feel because right now. <laughs> wasn't that the whole point like uh, in your content like on online oh with like you can't be a hundred percent genuine because if one brand deal whatever it could fuck up your brand deals like there goes half your income or like customers they no longer want to buy from you because you got canceled like they're just really reliant on their content for money and then i see ours and it's like we're the complete opposite like ideally we could cut the content entirely out and the business would be a lot better. Um, so they're completely independent, which is bad, but also good because it makes makes our content like very pure. Um, and so ideally, like Jack doesn't rely on us at all to make clips successful. And then we can really speak our mind and we still get paid from that. Um, then that's how we like create something super special. Like even South Park has to run it by um, Comedy Central or whatever and all their their filters. So we could be even more unfiltered if we wanted to than South Park, which is cool. I don't got not that you more. want to, dude. You're you already <laughs> like, filtered. You got dry. 15 queued up. Uh, this is, this um, is all I got. Really. Watch, watch <laughs> Brita. <laughs> Just uh, Brita filter. I okay. So last these are I sick, had a couple sick more, takeaways that I'm proud of you. Um, the the main takeaway was like they oh, really the uh well not main all right well fucking one of the three main <laughs> courses here um. Brunch. The third one was like related. <laughs> Basically, you want the business to live beyond you. Oh. Kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Like, like Disney isn't Walt Disney. It's Disney. Legacy. It's like, it, yeah, it's his legacy. And like a lot of, yeah, they're just kind of like trapped because they're, they're the everything. If they stop creating, everything's fucked um, versus like. That's what Nasari is trying to do is like build something that just like exists on its own. It can grow like crazy. And which I think is the problem with smart nonsense right now is like everything goes through us. We're the the bottleneck, um, which is cool for our personal brands. But like, do we want to build something big that just exists like a Disney or know, like a family guy is the lower tier version of that, I guess. Um, do I have a lot of examples? No, I don't. I have two. But, uh, <laughs> been a while since we had a list on yeah smart nonsense podcasts as long as it's not one um so that's just that's food for thought and we'll, we'll be working on that this week and i don't mean to bring the tea down but here we are Garnaloo! Oh, fuck. <laughs> i was worried you'd ended on that too <laughs> and down <a> low. <laughs> you were worried so you went lower